So um, acetylcholine is the most classical of the classical neurotransmitters uh, because it was discovered first. In fact, it was part of a whole debate over whether uh, transmission at a synapse was actually electrical, whether there were sort of direct you know, flow of, uh, let's say, sodium ions, like depolarization, you know, through what they call connexons, like these proteins that are embedded in the membrane of the presynaptic terminal and the postsynaptic terminal that form a channel, you know, that allow for the sodium to just rush from, you know, the first neuron, the presynaptic neuron, directly into the postsynaptic neuron. Uh, the folks who were, uh, you know, proponents of this direct electrical connectivity between uh, neurons at synapses were called the... Um, the sparkers for electric sparks uh, versus the supers, like a soup. Um, was it a chemical soup? Was there, you know, a chemical that was released presynaptically that would stimulate the next neuron via, for example, receptors? Um, and it turns out that um, the supers, you know, were, were correct in terms of the majority of synaptic connections, although there's really interesting work that's being done at the University of Oregon and other places actually that, that show that a, a a significant percentage, actually, of connections in the brain are actually electrical, direct electrical connections. Um, however, you know, drugs are going to be acting quite a bit um, at these chemical synaptic connections, and acetylcholine was the first neurotransmitter that was identified. Um, and it was Otto Lowy, who was a, uh, an Austrian scientist, who uh, actually had the idea for this experiment um, in a dream. Um, and, you know, like many people, when they wake up from a dream, um, you know, they forget their dreams. So he was actually, you know, he was like, ah, oh, he apparently, he went back to sleep, willed himself to try to dream the same dream again and came up with this rather grisly uh, experiment where, in which he took a frog um, heart still beating with the vagus nerve attached. And this is the, you know, primary parasympathetic output uh, along the vagus nerve. Um, to the upper viscera, including the heart. Um, and because it's parasympathetic, which is one of the, you know, the three divisions of the autonomic nervous system that we described, right, including the sympathetic fight or flight and the enteric, you know, the gut. But the parasympathetic, you know, when you stimulate that nerve, you know, it releases a, neuro, a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine onto the heart, um, and that will slow down the rate of um, heart, the, 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 of the heart rate. Um, and so, Lowy stimulated the vagus nerve to the still beating heart in a petri dish, um, and then the heart slowed. And then he took an eyedropper and he took some of the fluid that had, you know, uh, that would accumulate it around the heart, and he dripped it onto another heart in another petri dish. Um, and uh, he observed that it that also slowed. So uh, this is acetylcholine, which was the first, you know, chemical neurotransmitter that was identified. Um, uh, Lowy initially called it vagus stuff because it was the stuff that came out of the vagus nerve. Um, and neurons that release acetylcholine as their primary neurotransmitter, we refer to these as cholinergic neurons.